from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Another beautiful day in the books, but rain may be on the way. Jason Adams will have a look at your forecast in just a moment. Hey there, I'm Vanessa Ryan. Let's go ahead and get you caught up with your ABC Action News headlines first. Tampa Bay saw its most expensive home sale. Former baseball star Derek Jeter sold his waterfront home on Davis Island for $22.5 million. It was listed for $29 million. If this house looks familiar to you, well, that's because Bucks quarterback Tom Brady stayed there until he got settled into his new place. Jeter and his family now live in Miami, where he's part owner of the Miami Marlins baseball team. We are finding out what local businesses are doing now that the CDC says people who are fully vaxxed against COVID-19 don't need to wear a mask in most cases. Some businesses, they're ditching it, while others, like Valhalla and Seminole Heights, are still asking that their guests mask up. Remember, private businesses still have the final say as to whether they want to keep mask mandates. The deadline to file your taxes is almost here. Tomorrow, May 17th, is tax day. The official deadline for individuals to file their 2020 federal tax return. That is a month later than usual because of the pandemic, but don't expect your returns anytime soon. An unusually large backlog of returns from 2019 and 2020 are being processed and are likely to be delayed. Tonight, the Tampa Bay Lightning begin their quest to keep the Stanley Cup. The Panther, Panthers host the Bolts in South Florida starting at 730 tonight. The first game at Amelie Arena will be game three. That's this Thursday. Up to 7,000 fans will be allowed at home playoff games, and there are plenty of chances for you to cheer them on, even from a distance. Watch parties will be at Amelie Arena for almost every game of the series. The first one is for game two this Tuesday. Watch parties for away games will take place inside the arena. Home game watch parties will happen on the plaza outside. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. A decent day in store for us today. Lots of sunshine, low humidity, hot temperatures, though. We're back into the upper 80s to around 90. That's typically where we are this time of year, so not too surprising to see that. What is surprising is that the humidity is staying low. So even though we're heating up, especially I-75 toward the coast, where we'll be the hottest today, upper 80s near 90. Inland spots into the mid 80s, that humidity is low. It will start to feel a bit more comfortable, though, by the middle of next week, and that's when we could see the rain making a return. However, rain chances right now are pretty slim all the way through the end of next week, only around 20% beginning Tuesday. Vanessa. All right, thank you, Jason. Remember, ABC Action News, always on when you need us. Just make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there. Enjoy your Sunday.